Anytime. Uh, I'm here with Bill, Bill with Antique Race Boats yeah. at the 2012 Sportsman Show, and this is pretty exciting, I gotta admit. Um, you know, I haven't seen many of these <laughs> on the water <laughs> recently, but uh, please, by all means, let's let's see what, what we got here. Well, this is a 1959 Sid Craft, which is an AB, high, class AB Hydro. Uh, I found it three weeks ago in Tonawanda, New York, and it was hanging in a garage for 12 years. Uh, I bought the boat, I did a lot of work before the show, I washed it, and that was it. And I'll run this motor on it, which is a Mercury 20H, uh, with a conversion on it, and basically it runs airplane fuel, and it'll run this boat at 60, 65 miles an hour on your knees. I'm sorry, you said airplane fuel? Yeah, there's airplane fuel in this. I run 100, 100 octane airplane fuel, uh, that's all I ever run in my race engines, is that. Good God, <laughs> it's, outstanding. It's only a dollar eighty a gallon, or a liter, what the heck, it's only money. So we could also run with the boat. I also got uh, yep. this motor, which is a, uh, actually it's a KG7, uh, but what I've done is it's the block, because in, in the early days, Mercury could change par parts around pretty readily. Yep. So this now has a gas tank and a trim ring showing that it's a seven horsepower motor, when in actual fact, it's got a block off a of 20 and rods and pistons, so it's almost a 20 horsepower motor, but to the outside and in the untrained eye, you'd think it was a seven. So it's a bit of a, <laughs> This is a boat I had in, uh, it's a 1965 Speedliner. It is a junior utility boat. It was built for a girl in New Jersey to race. It was an entry level boat. I found it in a barn in Clayton, uh, New York, 2010. <laughs> okay, and yeah. I bought it and I spent a year re uh, restoring it and I took it back to Clayton, New York and won best restored race boat in Clayton, New York last year with it. Oh, this is a Mercury 10 horsepower with a very rare Quincy stack on it. Um, it will drive this boat 50, 55 miles an hour. 50, on, 55? On your knees, again, yes. Holy moly. <laughs> the boat only weighs 65 pounds. 65 pounds. That's all it weighs. And over here, we have uh, one of my brother's boats. It's a 1956 Swift, which again was a production hydroplane. All these boats were production race boats that were made for, like, for racing, yeah, yeah. strictly for racing. Okay. We found this, this boat came out of New York, it was a uh, boat builder had it here in Ontario and he passed away with a brain tumor and we bought it from the auction and uh, we're going to probably restore it or my brother will sell it one or the other. It mm -hmm. runs the same motors that we talked about over here and would run around 60 miles an hour again. Most of these are run around 60 miles an hour. Well, so. That's a good way, total cutaway here, you can actually see how the thing Yeah, well built. the early ones, uh, the same as the red one, 115, th this was all canvas. This isn't wood, it's canvas. They use canvas, just like you did with an aircraft and you uh, covered it in canvas. Yeah. You put the canvas on it, you secured it, then you put dope on it and it shrunk it and that's what it is to keep the, the boats only weigh 110, 115 pounds, that's all. That's how you can actually pick it up yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we look for, we find parts, we stock parts, we just do it as a hobby. We restore boats. Yeah. This kind how of thing. easy is it to find parts? You run into some excellent deals. Uh, I, the last one we had was a fellow in Pennsylvania bought a house and the house had two boats in it in the living room and the one bedroom was full of ammunition and the other bedroom was full of air, was full of marine parts. Nice. So I found out about them and I drove, we drove 11 hours to go to Pennsylvania. We bought both boats and I filled the car with all the parts and I paid. A couple cans of ammo to go? Uh, no, we didn't <laughs> no, take any just ammo, just the other, yeah, we yeah, left yeah. the ammo. <laughs> And uh, he wanted $100 for all the, all the motor parts, and there was over $2,500 worth of motor parts, and both boats I bought as well, so I got that home as oh, well. Oh, nice. Good but he deal. was renovating the house, and these guys left it. They used to race, so they just walked out of there. They used the house as a garage. That's wow. what they'd done. So wow. you do run into the odd good deal. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> or like generally, this. it's a little difficult sometimes. It's hard. It's it hard, is to hard find. to uh, yeah. figure as much. Yeah. But the problem with the boats is they don't take up any room, so you'll find them in a cottage, up in a loft, uh, standing in a garage, whatever. They, they you know, they're. If they can get up and you can still park your car under them, they forget about them. It's like yeah. putting something in a storage unit, you know, yeah, you yeah, forget yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So How it's cool fun. We search for them all the time. So yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> nice. Well, Bill, thank you very much. That was thank definitely you, a pleasure. Um, no wow. Uh, you, you, you I appreciate you coming. my eyes on something like this. <laughs> cool. Well, now we got to get you in one. And now you got to get me in one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>